Hi, I'm Raghav Mimani and this is Bakaiti. Over the past months, I have been following the news closely, reading into the state of affairs, trying to bring different perspectives, but occasionally I get inflicted by cynicism. How can one read about children dying from preventable diseases like diarrhea and pneumonia and not feel heartbroken at the loss of potential or watch our highest institutions provide lip service in our fight against pollution and not be annoyed being cynical seems but a natural response and hence this is important this is a tirade against cynicism if you like me have been inflicted with the occasional bout of cynicism after reading the news then perhaps it will be good for us to remember cynicism changes nothing instead it takes away things joy for one energy for another hope ultimately spirit although there are miseries from grave problems in multiple areas the world overall is a much better place today than it was a few years ago good things are happening good deeds are being done often it may not seem like that but it is and they are perhaps we are not able to see it because we are not seeing clearly in this haze of cynical distrust that we have built this is not to say that evil doesn't exist or problems aren't a plenty or people aren't in peril particularly animals the bestest of them people yes of course we need to continue the fight indeed fight harder we need to call bullshit whenever we spot it work our asses off to make for a better world than how we inherited it but cynicism gnaws at it it is not the answer its debilitating fangs render us paralyzed unable to move questioning every step ours as well as others till no motion remains and while mistakes will be made errors will be committed it's all part of the process there is much to be done and it will need some doing from us often in history we talk about a few great personalities whose deeds most certainly merit discussions but so do the deeds of countless others who through their untiring efforts kept the flame of human ingenuity lit and shining brightly the tradesmen because of whom ideas got exchanged the patrons who created institutions for thought the honest hard working officials who ensured proper supply and administration even during times of great corruption the midwives who helped protect public health the parents who bore hardships just to ensure that the next generation is better off the list goes on and on and on while we may be dissatisfied and discontent with the world and it is good for that's the only way we aspire to change things we should take hope and inspiration from the incredible doings of our fascinating species each and every one of us we are capable of truly amazing things we help each other out we learn about the world around us we create things we send space probes far beyond the solar system and discover things we can't even see we are an enterprising bunch of people and this is a wonderful world let's celebrate that and not be cynical i'll see you next time take care